Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine and today's look is going to be this sexy, dramatic, very dramatic look for you guys. I don't play in color that often as you guys know, but I recently went to Kroger and I picked up this Bella Eyes, Bella Teal eyeshadow from Milani and I wanted to incorporate it with a black smoky eye. So that's what I came up with. And also I picked up these um, double up lashes from Ardell. They were on sale for like $1.50, so I had to get them. They're very thick. They're very dramatic. This is definitely something for the nighttime. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's probably going to be all over the place because I tried to do like a talk through. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely nice for like a date night, you know, a sexy night out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up for so me. So if you want to see how I got this look, then of course, just keep watching. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows off camera. They're like such a mess right now. But I'm going to clean them up on camera. And I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer on the back of my hand. On the back of my hand. So I can clean them up and make them look like a little bit better. Um, and I'm using an angled brush from Pat Pat. It says it's a MAC brush, but I highly doubt that that's the truth. Um, it's probably like a MAC dupe or something. I'm not sure. I don't own any brushes from MAC. Okay, so I know I want to do like a smoky eye with like a nude lip. That look is just everything and I just haven't done nothing like that lately but I'm not sure what really I'm doing today I went to Kroger yesterday um, and I went to the makeup section and they had some of the Milani well they had all of the Milani um, eyeshadows on sale like from the Bella collection which is like the metallic eyeshadows so I'm, I want I might use one of those my eyebrows are so funky today but we're going to make it work. So, yeah, the eyeshadow that I'm talking about, it was on sale for like a dollar something. And it is in the color Bella Teal. And I kind of want to use this, but I kind of want to do like a smoky black, a black smoky eye. So, we'll see. But I just primed my eyes with that same concealer. Uh, and now I'm going to take my big fluffy brush like this. This is like my absolute favorite brush from BH Cosmetics. And it's just a blending brush. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to blend out using the shade Caramel from the Amrezy palette. I've like abandoned this color or this palette in general because I've been using my Morphe palette because it's like my absolute favorite. But yeah, I'm just blending that all over my eyelid um, to basically set that concealer and then I'm using that as my transition, sh my transition shade. So also I wanted to talk to, to, talk to you guys about two things that have really been on my mind for like the last couple of years but may like more so lately I hope you guys can see I have my um I'm sitting in front of my big window because I like natural light but yeah um I wanted to talk to, I wanted I can't even talk today I wanted to talk to you guys about two things that I've been really thinking about more lately and I'm just packing this um color more into my crease too um, I want to get an Invisalign, and if you don't know what that is, it's just another form of braces. I've been getting Invisalign for a while, and um, I went in high school and got a consultation done, but I never went back because, um, like, once I got the consultation, it was like they told me I would have to, like, the price and stuff, and then I have to put down, like, $500. I'm putting black eyeshadow all over my lid, but I would have to pay like $500 down and I was fresh out of high school and I just did not have that kind of money at the time so I never went back and I never like looked into it again so now that I'm grown and stuff like that I and it's something that really bothers me I'm thinking about getting it again and now I have an appointment coming up in February to get another consultation done um, because it's really something that's 
that I want. I want straight, perfect teeth, and they're not that way now. So I feel like if I want it, if I just keep thinking about it, you know, wanting to get it fixed, why not just get it done, you know? So I think I'm going to go ahead and go through with it. Hopefully, I have really good insurance, so hopefully, you know, it's going to be worth it and not too expensive. But I just put black all over my lid and yeah, that's just going to be like my base. But in the crease, I'm going to take um, this light brown shade right here and I'm going to blend that out into my crease. And that is the Morphe palette. So I'm just going to use that as my blending shade. And I'm just holding my brush towards the end and I am blending it all the way to the beginning of my eye. But yeah, Invisalign is something that I'm going to be so happy with. I want straight teeth. I want perfect teeth. I'm sure everyone, everyone does. And um, my teeth aren't that bad, but they're not perfect. They're not straight. I have to like, when I take pictures and stuff, I like to, to smile on this side instead of this side. And I'm sure you guys can, um, you know, tell too. And this is going to be really messy at first, but it's okay because we're going to blend and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just blending that into my crease and I'm going to build that black color back up just in case I lost any. I'm going to put that um, blue shade on top of this black. It's going to be a lot of taking away, adding more color, taking away. So yeah, and also now that I'm like on camera and stuff like that more and, you know, taking my YouTube more serious, I, you know, I want to look the part and it just will make me more, such more happy, you know, if my teeth were straight. So yeah, I'm excited for my consultation and I keep telling my husband like, you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing once I get this Invisalign, once I get these teeth, this tooth, this tooth right here in particular, once I get it fixed. So another thing, I'm gonna take that shade again, or that big fluffy blending brush, and then that car caramel shade from the Amrezi palette, and I'm gonna blend any harsh lines out onto my crease and a little bit above it. So um, another thing that's been on my mind like the last two years um, is a boob job and I know some of you guys may feel like that's unnecessary but I want a boob job not because I'm like insecure about my boobs like the size or anything because I mean I don't mind having you know semi small breasts or whatever but y'all know I'm a mommy and I breastfeed so I breastfed my son for a year and then I breast I'm breastfeeding my daughter now I'm not really sure when I'm gonna stop breastfeeding feeding her and when I want to get this done if I do get it done but breastfeeding does a lot to your boobs and it makes them look a lot different and I'm young and I want pretty perky boobies so I want to get a like full C saline implants like that's just something that I've been wanting to do. And my aunt, she actually has it done. She's had hers done for a while. And they look great. They look real. And Aaliyah J here on YouTube, she actually got hers done um, last year. So we shall see. I really want to get it done, though. But I wanted to see what your guys' opinion on boob implants were. And if you've gotten it done or if you know somebody who's gotten their boobs done, leave a comment down below. Um, letting me know like your experience or if you know someone's experience of things like that. I haven't looked up anything. I haven't, you know, like um, researched the price and all that stuff. So yeah, I just it's just a thought right now. And I'm going to take this blue shade from the uh, Milani Eyeshadow Bella line. And I'm going to place that over top that black just because I want to use it. Because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I'm really focusing it on the center, but like more packing it more on the center of my, my, my lid. And then... Once I pack it on the center, I'm just taking it out.
I'm gonna come back to the eyes in a little bit but I picked up these um, Ardell double up lashes and you guys I only pay like a dollar something for these at Kroger as well so I'm gonna apply those okay, so I finally got these lashes on after like freaking 30 minutes um, I never used these like dramatic these are like super dramatic lashes and the band is like super thick and I'm not used to that and they look so weird to me but they're very dramatic and they go with the look so we're gonna go with it so I'm gonna come back to my eyes in a little while um the band is like super thick on these lashes y'all but anyways I'm gonna use my do my foundation now and then I'll come back to the eyes if I need to and of course I'm using the new um, dream velvet and I'm gonna get real techniques sponge Yeah, I'm taking the flat side of the Real Technique sponge and I'm going to blend everything out. Mommy. Mama, look at me. Mm -hmm. Go over there. Sit down. Lashes are so freaking intense. Like, my husband's probably going to be like, the hell do you have on your eyes? Like, he don't know. He don't like you know all the dramatic type of stuff but I'm just gonna put some more um, on my cheeks because I feel like my beauty blender uh, you know it made the foundation a lot sheerer so I'm just gonna take the pointed side because I actually like that side better for a foundation because I feel like it gets into the area um, a lot better anyway I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because I've been abandoning abandoning it. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. But this stuff is really, um, it's really good, so. Then, because this is like a dramatic look, so I'm going to go all the way out. Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup. I'm just gonna tap some on here. So to set my entire face, I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder, just what, whatever's left in my cup here. And if you guys watched my last video, you know I said I love the way that it looks on top of the Sasha powder. I feel like it makes it look all more flawless. My kids keep coming in and out, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. I'm going to bronze up my face with the NYX Sunny Bronzer. I'm going to contour. Now for a blush, I'm going to use a Luminoso from Milani. It's just like a perfect, you know, it's just the perfect blush. So taking a stippling brush and highlight my face and everything since I'm on my face now but um and i'm gonna carve out my cheeks a little bit more elf pink tastic because i've forgotten how amazing this um highlighter really is but look at that yes So I'm going to also use that to highlight the inner corner of my eye. Because it's 
needs to be and I'm gonna go back and finish my eyes in just a second it's a flat shader type of brush and I'm gonna smoke out the Now I'm going to apply a nude coal pencil on my waterline and this one's from Wet n Wild and yeah so let me do that really quick. So for the lips I want to use a nude so I'm using Dreamy from um, LA Girl and it's their matte, uh, matte pigment gloss. 